Hey church, hope you're well. It is great to be with you today and I'm just going to share with you a prayer point for our north location. But before I do that, I just want to share um, a scripture with you which is one of my all-time favourite passages in the Bible. And it's in Acts chapter 2, starting from verse 1. And it says, When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. And suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. And you know, this just excites me because this is what the gospel is all about. You know, before Christmas, God really started to speak to Joel and I about how it was time to turn up the spiritual dial, to turn up the spiritual temperature um, across our location, but also within ourselves personally. And, you know, I, I began to pray over people and over the location, over our church, that we would step into a season where the supernatural is the norm. You know, that we would have a culture where we're not surprised when somebody is healed or where a family is restored or where the lame start to walk or where cancer is defeated. You know, we've got such an incredible community of people within our North location who we love dearly. And you know, since the return from lockdown land, we have been slowly building, little by little, one by one, gaining momentum. And we've been just having an incredible journey. And we've just been loving every moment of it. But as much as we've been loving the journey, we know that there's more. And you know, we've been going in the right direction, but we really believe that God is asking us to trade the rowing boat for the speed boat because there's a stirring of the spirit. There's a wave of the spirit that is about to sweep across all our locations, all our campuses, all our communities and neighborhoods. And man, does our world need this? You know, in Acts 1 verse 8, it says, but you, not the VIPs, not the special ones, but you and I will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. You know, the Holy Spirit within us is how we are empowered to put Jesus on display to the world. He is the key player when it comes to advancing the church. You know, our, north, our prayer for North Location is that we would grow, for people to be added to our number. And we know that this is a, the obvious, this is a given. Our prayers are always for growth. We're always wanting people to be added to our number. But we are specifically believing in this season for those people that don't yet believe, for those people that have never been through the doors of our church, for those people to find Jesus, to fall in love with him to the point where their lives are radically transformed and they're added to our number. You know, in Acts 2, further down, it says, By the power of God, many placed their faith in Christ and were added to the church. And this is what we're believing for in this season. You know, we know that the gospel isn't just one of, of words, but it is one of power. You know, I love how the Holy Spirit propelled ordinary disciples to do extraordinary things through the power that only God can supply. And he still does the same with you and I today. You know, I pray that people would be added to our church because you and I are living out our lives fueled by his spirit, fueled by the fire that is resting on us and that people would start to sit up and take note that there is something different about you. I want to ask you today, are you willing to be stirred again by the spirit so that his power is put on display? You know, right now, Wherever you are, why don't you just pause and just take in a deep breath? And why don't you invite the Holy Spirit in? Breathe him in and let him fill you again. You know, I don't know whether you're sat at your desk at work or whether you're an, an at-home mom and you're just about holding it together. You may be tired, you may be busy, you may be the teacher who is on your lunch break in the staff room or 
you may be the person right now that is actually sat in your car because you don't feel strong enough to be around people right now and I just want you to to just pause and just to take a deep breath and just to to breathe in the ruah of the Holy Spirit to to let the breath of heaven just come into your heart and your situation right now I really want to thank you church for for standing with us and praying for our north location today we appreciate it so much and my prayer for you today is that the Spirit of God would fall on you in a fresh and powerful way today I want to invite you also if you uh, live anywhere near the, the north of Manchester why don't you come along and come and visit us every Sunday 11 a.m. we meet at the View Cinema in Screen 5 or for those that are eager amongst you you can even join us at half past 10 when we meet together and pray before the service we would absolutely love to see you there love you so much church have a beautiful day